this video I'm going to show you one of the advantages to being able to hit the ball both ways. In particular in this video, moving the ball right to left or with a draw. So the shot that I've got at hand here is 165 yards, which for me would usually be an 8-iron, but I'm going to select a 9-iron. Now the reason why I'm going to do that, selecting the 9-iron is going to allow me to close the club first, which is going to de-loft it, probably to around about the loft of the 8-iron, which means that I can close the face, which if I can move the path to the right of that face, is going to move the ball from right to left. Now this shot is, again, 165. Out the back of the green, there is some trouble, so I don't want to go long. I think it's pretty much impossible that I'm gonna go long with this club that I'm choosing. Short of the green, we've got a bunker, and we've got water short, and we've got water left as well. Now I want to take those two shots out of the equation completely, or two hazards out of the equation completely with the shot that I'm gonna hit, to make sure that I can't go into the bunker, I can't go into the water, and I can't go long. So this is having a core strategy. If I know I can move the ball a particular way, I can take certain hazards out of the equation. And in the long term, this is gonna mean that the scores are going to drop. So I'm moving the ball from right to left. So I'm gonna take, again, the bunker, the water, and the shot long complete out of the equation here by aiming down the right-hand side of the green, and then just moving the ball back into the pin from right to left. And as you can see, no chance of going in the water, no chance of going in the bunker, and I can't hit it long on the putting surface there, 25 feet, I'm quite happy with that. So the first shot was a success, let's have another go at this shot. Club face again, twisted, closed, so it's de-lofted, making it a little bit more like the eight iron. But being closed, it means that if I can get the path to move to the right of the first, the ball is gonna move from right to left in the air. This one's not moving as much. So I classify that as a poor shot, but as you can see, it's left me with quite a simple chip. Now if I'd hit a poor shot and I'd gone for the perfect shot, there's potential for it to go in the water, potentially going into the bunker shot, and from there I'm not gonna feel that comfortable about getting up and down. But if I'm aiming out to the right, I know that if the ball doesn't move back as much as what I'd want it to, it's not gonna put me in that much bother. So to conclude, being able to move the ball around in the air, is very advantageous. You can actually take hazards out of the equation. And again, long term, through a round and over a course of a few rounds, it's gonna help you bring the scores down and help you to reduce your handicap. So before we go, let's have another go at this shot. Again, club face is twisted closed. Swinging out to the right, starting the ball right at pin. Moving it gently back in. Again, on the putting surface. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's quite simple, but it's just showing you how moving the ball around in the air could be advantageous and help you lower your scores. It's not just about hitting the ball straight. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. I'll see you again soon. Take care.